Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song by Eric Church called Springsteen. And it's going to start on a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the high on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, E, kind of the skinny four string, that'll get you your clear sound with that. And that's called D major. And then from D major, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the G major, we're going to be going to a B minor. We'll talk about a really easy way to do it in, in a minute. But if you know the full bar of B minor, you put your first finger on the second fret um, across the entire fret. And then second finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret, third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and the pinky is going to go to the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. But if you just start out and you don't want to do the bar chords, you can do some little B minors actually by taking the top part of those. And one option would be going first finger on the high E on the second fret, second finger on the D, D string on the third fret, and third finger on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you kind of strum just the top three strings, then that still sounds a B minor. And you can actually even add in the D string on that and kind of do the top four strings. If you're a little bit more adventurous, you can put the third finger on the D string on the fourth fret and the pinky on the G string on the fourth fret. And if you strum the top four strings with that, that that's still kind of another way to play B minor. Another option would kind of be doing something called a power chord for that. And actually, at the beginning, this would work really well. And there, there's something called a power chord. You play just the root and the fifth of the chord. And there's a chord called B5 that you may want to try for this too, where you put the first finger on the A string on the second fret third finger on the D string on the fourth fret, and if you kind of strum just the A and the D strings, that's something called B5. So you may want to consider kind of using a B5 for, for that part too. We'll talk about some, some other cool moves on, on this part later on. But from the beginning, a really easy way to do it would be doing D major, D major, G major, B minor, and that's kind of our verse through the song. And a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. Now what it, what it sounds like Eric Church is doing though is kind of doing eight downs on each of those chords with kind of a muted quality. So he's taking the flat of the, the right hand and, and kind of doing a down with it muted. So I'm kind of putting the, the flat of the right hand kind of almost right on top of the bridge to kind of get a muted quality out of the string. And you would do eight on each one. So you could do a D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is a little sneaky. Another way to do it would be doing down, down, up, up, down, which is one of my favorites, 4-4 uh, four, four strum patterns. And so just to try that a lot, you could take the D and go down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, up. And you may want to mix up those two feels actually through the song, but just to try that with our verse progression, we got D, down, up, up, down, D, down, down. Until we get to our chorus part, and on our chorus we have D major, and then we're going to A major. Oh, and actually the way you play A major is first finger is going to go D string on the second fret, second finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the second fret. So it's a big party on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A major. It sounds really, really happy. And then from the A major, then we're going to B minor, and then we're going to G major, and then we kind of go back to the B minor. And then A major, and then D major, and then G major, and at the very, very end of that we go to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to kind of stay on the A string on the second fret, and second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like E minor chord. It sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor we're going to be going to the A major. And then we kind of have a, 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 a chorus outro where we're going to be going G major, and then a D major, A major, G major, D major, A major.
but just the try the the main chorus part with just our, our strum pattern you have D down down up up down up A down down up up down B minor down is the D and the A chord are actually kind of halved with the strum pattern. So when we hit that part, actually, there are a couple ways we could do it. You could do the D with just a down, down, up, and then an A with a down, down, up. So we tried it that way. You'd have G with down, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, and splitting it between the D and A. So you could do the D with the down, down, up, and you go to the A for the up, down, up. So D down, down, up, A up, down, up. And if we tried it that way, then you have G with down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, A on the up. Oh, yeah, that was right. <laughs> yeah, G down, down, up, up, down, D down, down, up, A up. Down. sounds like in the recording is, is kind of doing a down down on the D and then an up up down up on the A. So, so you'd have D with down down A on the up up down up on that part. So we tried it that way you have G with down down up up down D down down A on the up up down G down down up up down D down down A on the up up down up. But then there's this really cool link that kind of comes in on that where you, you play in the open E twice and then going second fret on the high E, and then kind of repeating that. So you're kind of playing E, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp, E, F sharp. Another option that could be kind of cool, actually, is kind of trying to figure out a way to get that lick to happen around your chords. And one way to do it would, would be kind of doing a hybrid picking thing, and this is going to be a little weird because I'm going to use my pick for some basses and then use my fingers for the notes on, on the high E. So you play third fret on the low E with the open E at the same time, and then go to second fret on the high E, and then kind of do that again. But then when we get to the D chord, you could throw the D string in for your bass. And then you can do the same thing with the A string to kind of imply the A chord. So that's a little weird because you got G with the leg, G with the leg, D with the leg, A with the leg, G with the leg, G with the leg, D with the leg, A with the leg. So that might be something you want to think about kind of adding. You may even be able to work that lick around the chords. You know, like you could take the G, but instead of putting third finger on the high E, you could kind of start with an open. And then try and get the third finger to go to the to the second fret on the high E. So you have G, F sharp, E, F sharp, and then around the D chord you could kind of do that same thing about, about starting without the second finger. And now I'm turning my, my strum into just down ups for everything. So I have to do the down up, down up to get the lick in there. And then the A you could kind of do that too by adding in the pinky. If you wanted to cheat the A, you could even do it with the third finger. <laughs> kind of that way. So you have the G, D, A, G, D, D, A. So that's a couple options when you get to that lick at the very, very end. And then from there, we'll be repeating a lot of our parts. Actually, we'll kind of be going back to our, our, our verse again, back to our chorus. The, the weird thing is on, on the very last chorus, it's kind of a half chorus. So you end up doing just the D and the A and the B minor and the G, and then you go straight to the E minor and the A on that last chorus. So just to try that last chorus with the strum, you'd have the D down, up, up, down, up, A down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down. which is actually kind of our verse progression where the D down up
Now on that progression at the very, very beginning in the intro, actually there are a couple chords that we could kind of add in to that progression. And actually this mainly applies to like where you've got your G to B minor change. So it's, it's more like so, so sometimes there, there's some different A chords that are getting added in around that G chord. So for instance on the G you actually kind of have the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then you can make an A change on that G chord. And then when you get to your B minor we could go B minor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then go back to the A for the last three downs, which is a little weird, but that's what it, what it sounds more like in the recording, is you got G, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, B minor, two, three, four, five, A, 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 and kind of on that part. And there's actually another A major chord, and this is a little weird. There's something called A slash C sharp, which means there's an A chord, but with a C sharp in the bass. And one way to play that, and actually the, 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 there's some, so would be to kind of take the pinky, and you could try and get him to the A string on the 4th fret, which can be kind of difficult actually from the A major to kind of do that. So one way you could do it is taking the 1st finger and kind of barring the D and the G and the B, and then putting the 3rd finger on the A string on the 4th fret, and kind of strumming like ju just kind of the top, or the, the actually the middle 4 strings, like the A, B, G, B will get your ear sound of that, and that's called A slash C sharp. So what, what it kind of sounds like on that G, B change is G, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, B minor, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then A slash C sharp for the last three. So you got G, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, B minor, 2, 3, 4, 5, A slash C sharp. So just to try that through that verse part, you have D, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, G, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, B minor, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, A, C slash C sharp. And then D, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, A, D, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, G, 1, 2, 3, one, two, three, four, five, A slash C sharp. So, so you may want to try and add that to it too. And I guess you could kind of try and do that around the down, down, up, up, down, up. Like the D, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, and then B minor, down, down, up, up, and then A slash C sharp, or actually A slash C sharp, slash C sharp, slash C sharp would be that up, down, up at the end. So you have D, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, A, B minor, down, up, up, down, up, on the A, C, L, C sharp. another option too to kind of add, add some flavor to, uh, to the outro or that verse progression. But that's the basis of how you play Springsteen by Eric Church. So good luck!